What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another player pack review. So today we are taking a look at the deluxe packs. I've spent a bit of time researching and doing a lot of kind of comparisons off, uh, off camera, I suppose, or off video, where I've done a lot of investigating into these players, right? So the way I would sum this up is that these players that you're seeing here, and we will go through and we'll start with the English pack here, are very similar to the standard version players. There have been better versions of these players released, but they're kind of somewhere in the middle. And I'll talk you through a couple of points, especially if you are a newcomer. These are pretty decent packs, right? You can, you know, keep spinning until you can clear the agent. If you want to, you can clear all 11 of them. It'll cost you 1100. They're similar to the national team packs that they released a while back, like the Italian pack that you could clear, and you'd eventually get all the players in the agent. It's not random and it's not, um, you know, there's no duplications. But obviously, we've got the Italian and the Spanish pack as well. There are a couple of standout players across the packs. But for all intents and purposes, some players are actually worse in this than the standard versions. And I'm going to show you why with a bit of a deep dive in it, right? So we are going to kick off with worst to worst to best, I suppose, with Castagna starting us off the Belgian full back, right back. Now, the best thing about all of these cards, right, is on top of having a couple of unique things about the cards... They're also going to be locked at team playstyle proficiency 90. That's going to open up a lot of extra points that you can train, especially because you don't need to worry about any tactics, any formations, fitting with any managers, and you can just kind of switch your formation and tactics on the fly. And that's where a lot of the advantage comes with these cards, especially if you are a newcomer, right? Now, when we head over to eFootballDB here, we will see a maxed out version of him here, right? Now, I'm going to show you a couple of different comparisons between a lot of these different uh, cards. We've got this guy here. He's a 90 right back, Castanga, 90 right back. He's a fairly okay to average right back. I mean, if you're going to be spinning for him, I would say don't bother. Um, the Belgian pack was obviously the exact same as this card. So this card that they have released now, the base is literally identical to the Belgian pack one that they released, except the Belgian pack one has three less defense awareness in a stat and has got two better stamina. Other than that, the Belgian pack is pretty much identical. A lot of these cards, there's such little difference in the cards, it's unreal. So if you are thinking of spinning for these and you've got various versions of these players, I would say definitely check out the standard version because usually the standard version have more player levels to go, such as the case with this guy. He's got 39 levels compared to 26. So you're going to be able to get this version of the card up very similar. We'll show you that later on in the video. But that is the first guy I don't think he's really worth spinning for or training up if you do have him. We also have a Saint Maximin. Now we're going to go into him in a little bit more detail, right? So the first thing you're going to know about Saint Maximin here is his absolute blister and pace, right? He's got 99 acceleration with this build that we have him. So 32 levels to go, 62 progression points, five into passing. We don't even really need passing. We've just pumped that up. You can kind of switch that around if you want to. And you can even add that to speed if you want to have even, you know, an even faster player, better stamina with 95 speed, right? You could do that if you really, really wanted to. The passing for this card isn't going to be a big concern for you. You're just looking for pure blister and pace from this guy, a speeding bullet from every sense of the word, right? But we've got one into passing with this build, 10 into dribble and 13 into dexterity and nine into lower body, right? But I'm going to show you, right, his standard card. This is what I'm talking about when we are actually looking at these standard cards. This is the standard version of him. I know the lads at eFootballDB are working on a one-page comparison um, kind of page here, so we won't have to kind of do this in different tabs. But this is the version of Maximin here that is in the league selection pack. So you've got 95 speed, you've got 96 dribbling, you've got 99 acceleration and 97 balance. This is a standard version available for 70,000 GP. So you've got 93 speed, 99 acceleration and 96 balance, right? But we can actually get that up a little bit higher because we can go to 94 speed with 80 stamina, 96 dribbling. So the stats that you're kind of missing out on here are so small, like there's such a little difference in it that you're comparing a 70,000 GP standard version of the player. The only difference is, right, the big difference is what I mentioned at the start of the video. The big difference between these players is the team play style, right? If you want to train up Maximin to this exact spec, right, you're going to be completely ignoring team play style, which means that he's going to be pretty much unusable uh, for a lot of your formation and tactics because you won't be able to carry a player that only has 60 team play style proficiency in long ball counter or 52 in long ball or 62 in out wide. So that's where you kind of need to, you know, train him up. So that is where it is going to 
kind of come into it. So, you know, you're going to have to take one from dexterity to bring it down to 98 acceleration. It's not a massive thing, but then obviously you're going to be able to get that up to 99 or 89 or whatever you want to do it. That's where this these cards have a real advantage, especially if you are a newcomer to the game, so to speak. Um, but other than that, the standard cards really do mesh up very, very well. Right, going back here, we'll just go through these quite quickly because there is a couple of them not really worth discussing. Uh, Paulinia is a good player as well. He's fairly decent. Of course, we always look in a DMF. He's a destroyer, but we all always look for one touch pass if he doesn't have blocker. He doesn't have blocker or interception, but he does have sliding tackle. Sorry, he has interception, but not blocker. And he does have fighting spirit with unwavering form. So he does have one touch pass. He does have interception. He does have fighting spirit. And on top of that, his defense stats actually go quite high. Defensive awareness is not too bad. Even at 81, you're just going to have to defend manually. Um, but 91 tackling, 94 aggression when you're not controlling him with the AI controlling him is going to be very, very good. And the stamina is fairly decent. At his base stats as well, he's got good tight possession. He's got good low pass. He's got good lofted pass. Fairly, fairly decent card if you do spin him. We have also got Estupinian, uh, if that's how you pronounce his name. Estupinian, I think that's it. Um, he's got a fairly average card as well. I would have liked to have seen this with a bit of a better version of him. 89 overall. There's a training guide there. You can pause this video at any time and look at it. Not going to spend too much time on the Brighton man. He does, you know, have average stats for a left back at this stage in the game's life cycle. If you're starting off, lads, all of these players are going to be a big advantage to you. They're going to be a big increase on what you probably already have, especially with that team play style, you know. Um, that's a big, big thing, especially when you're building a squad, because you might know exactly what gameplay suits you, what game style suits you, whether you like to play out wide or possession game um, is very, very different, you know, to playing quick counter or long ball counter. So that is something that when you are building a squad, you can make a lot of mistakes with it. But he's not a bad option to have. We also have Badi Ashil. This guy is, again, he's somebody that I've always liked in the game. This card kind of tracks up very, very well with his standard version as we look at him here. He's only got long ball expert. He doesn't have blocker. He does have interception. He's got standard form. A fairly average center back, I would say. Yes, he's tall. Yes, he's very, very good on the ball um, when you have him defensively. But I think for the rest of it, you know, speed acceleration is pretty decent. But the rest of his stats are just average for a center back. We've also got Brentford's Tony, the center forward. He has got some nice stats as well. He's a fox in the box. So that kind of limits how you're going to be able to use him. Um, and there has been kind of very similar versions of him here released uh, with the team of the weeks when we have him trained up fully here, including this guy. You know, acceleration isn't really his strong point here, but I just want to get that offensive uh, awareness up and that balance up as high as we possibly can. For a player that is pretty, you know, going to be a fox in the box you need to be able to get the ball out of his feet as soon as possible when he gets it because he will get just completely bullied off the ball otherwise but you don't need any passing stats with this guy because of the one touch pass that does kind of give you a little bit of an advantage with these cards moving on we do have jordan sancho me personally i just cannot play with sancho in the game he's one of the wingers that i just cannot like play with right now, he does have 44 progression points. We're going to put 10 into progression or into dexterity, 8 into dribbling, and 5 into passing, and 6 into lower body. That's going to give us 95 dribbling, 90 acceleration, and 93 balance. The thing I don't like about Sancho, man, is he just always seems to get blown off the ball. This card is 93 balance, and he shouldn't be getting blown off the ball. But I always find that he just doesn't have that little quick animation set that a lot of the fast wingers have. Even though he's got 90 acceleration, the likes of Dembele, the likes of um, Diaz from Liverpool, Maximin, they just seem to have a different velocity when they explode off. And then I know some people absolutely love Sancho. So it's kind of like me with Salah as well. I cannot play with Salah. Some people swear by him. So moving on, lads, we do have, and we'll go back here, a couple of the big hitters here, right? So we don't need to spend too much time on Martinez. He is a very, very, very poor goalkeeper in this. And we're going to show you the standard version as well. Yes, he is a better version than the standard version. But trust me, I don't think you should be getting this guy. Um, you know, he doesn't, he has low punt and long throw. He has standard form. He's on A rating this week. But I mean, you know, you're not going to be able to get his goalkeeper reflexes up past 86, no matter what way you train him. We've eight just across the board here. We we're just to take off this and even put like, you know, put this to 83. And we were to take this and put this to 75 for clearing and reach because, you know, he is fairly tall. He doesn't need that much reach and clearing doesn't really work and pump in the rest. We are only going to get 89 reflexes with 92 catching. I don't think that that's going to be massive. 
plus we're also kind of like um neglecting the goalkeeper clearing a little bit which will probably cause a concern and his jump is is kind of low at that as well his standard version here is has a similar problem apart from ignoring the team play style which we have to do to get these stats you know we're still not going to get the reflexes up that high um which i think is an issue with this card right even if we were to take these down to 75 or even 73 or 74 and pump the rest in here we're only going to get 86 reflexes with the standard card so i'd say if you have your heart set on martinez and you missed out in the argentinian pack which is pretty much identical except he's got better reflexes um then yeah he is probably worth a punt we also have a kuliashevsky this guy i'm really intrigued by this guy i've played with him before but I haven't, again, been able to play with him that well. Um, he's very similar to kind of Sancho for me. He is a left footer, so you have to be cutting in and taking shots, and they have kind of nerfed shots a little bit, which is why we've kind of largely ignored the shooting build up here or the shooting progression point there. But again, you've got your 93 dribbling, you've got your 85 stamina, 84 speed, and 90 acceleration. Every player skill that you could possibly want, including one touch pass, scotch move, cut behind, Marseille turn, double touch, lovely um, but the long range curler, long range drive and long range shooting are largely kind of ignored with this guy because of the way the gameplay has gone. Now, if you put nine into it, you will get 87 curl and 80 finishing. So you kind of have a messy esque with the shooting. But I just feel that unless you are an exceptionally good V2.4 curled shot shooter, <laughs> then it's going to be difficult to, to score with this guy or to score with anybody because they have nerfed the shots, especially from outside the box that I use score a lot. They've nerfed them into the ground. Hopefully they'll fix it in a future patch. So that leaves us then with the last um two big boys so we've got De Bruyne and we've got Saliba right so ending on Saliba we'll leave De Bruyne to last right Saliba is a fairly decent player in this I've kind of liked him from way back when um when we first started playing eFootball 2022 he kind of was a bit of a hidden gem because when you look at his card right his his base card has got 75 speed and 74 accelerate or 74 stamina with 71 acceleration so we don't really need to tweak that much which means when we max him out, we can actually just train up his defending and his aerial strength extremely high, right? So you can get the defensive awareness, tackling, aggression, and defensive engagement into the 90s. Now, what I would say is, right, what makes this card intriguing, and especially this is a very kind of skill-based card, I think. He has all the player skills that you could possibly want uh, for a center back. He doesn't have fighting spirit, but he has blocker interception, man marking, and he also has weighted pass and heading, which is good. Acrobatic clear and aerial superiority is always nice. But if you are a very manual defender, you do not need to put this many points into uh, defensive aware or defense stats, right? His defensive engagement is only when you're controlling him. So if you're manually defending, you can actually get away with 78 there for him. And that means that you can pump in a few more into dexterity if you wanted to get a very extremely fast mobile center half that has huge, pa huge pace and huge height. Um, usually the likes of Kunde, the likes of Alaba, they are fast and mobile, but they give up a lot in height, so you can only play them against certain players, right? You can also, on the flip side, you can put another one in to get his stamina and speed up, and I would be playing Salaba, this version of Salaba, in kind of a back three, and in, in the middle to be able to cover everything, or else in a back five, and actually pushing forward with him as kind of like a, kind of a Roman center back sweeper, bringing the ball forward, so that's just something to think of. And then last but not least, we have Kevin De Bruyne. So this card actually tracks up with his standard version extremely close, right? So if you look at this card here, we've got 19 levels. You've got 85 offensive awareness. You've got 91 ball control. Then you've got 90 tight possession, 90 low pass, and 90 lofted pass, right? Look at his standard version. Yes, it is going to be available for 740,000 if you want to play completely free to play or stay completely free to play. But this card, in my opinion, actually is better. This card here, the standard version of the card is actually better. Um, you've got, you know, slightly better acceleration in this one. Um, and the only thing that you're missing out on, really, you've got slightly better acceleration, one better offensive awareness and acceleration. And then the only thing that you're missing out on um, is obviously, you know, the fact with the, the team play style. So this is where the real difference comes in with the team play style. Because he is possession game, you get away with it, De Bruyne, that you can keep him at an 80 to have a near identical card, if not a better card, depending on how you look at it, 
um, with the roles that he plays here. Obviously, you're going to have 90 across the board here with the team play style. But for this, you've got better acceleration. You've got pretty much an identical stats. They're not changing at all. The only two stats changing here are the acceleration and the offensive awareness and the balance um, as we change them through there. And this card is actually worse. This English League selection card version of him is worse than his standard card. The only difference is obviously is that when you take in the play style into consideration, you are locked to either a possession game or else a quick counter. And if you need to train up the quick counter, that that is going to you know cause you to have the card a little bit less. You know, you can just put, pop one into possession if you wanted to have a 90, and then you got an identical card there apart from um, you know, him having one more speed and this version of the standard having one more acceleration and balance. So that is it for me, lads. I will be back with another one. This is a fairly lengthy video, but I know a lot of people will be asking about it. The next video won't be as in-depth, um, but that is the English Deluxe pack, and there are some good ones. Next up, we'll have Italy and Spain, so keep it locked here. Keep it subscribed, and we will be back soon. Peace.